Hey YouTube watchers, thanks for tuning in. I recently acquired this Epiphone Masterbuilt Acoustic Arch Top. So I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. And uh, we'll do a sound comparison between this guitar and my vintage Gibson L7 Arch Top. So let me tell you a little bit about this. I don't know if you're familiar with the Epiphone Masterbuilt series, but it was introduced in 2016. It's still, they're still being sold today. Um, and the idea was it was sort of a budget-minded series of guitars in a vintage style. They're not exactly reissues as far as I know, but they're certainly in a vintage style, harkening back to the old glory days of, of Epiphone before it was acquired by Gibson, of course. Um, so these are budget-minded acoustic instruments. This particular one is the Masterbuilt Century Deluxe arch top. Um, it's a used one from 2016. It has a solid spruce top, which is unusual for a budget arch top made in Indonesia. Uh, laminated maple body, a very chunky vintage style sort of C profile neck that I really like because that's what I got used to. Uh, an ebony fingerboard, supposedly a bone nut. It's a 25 and a half inch scale and it has this fancy little design here that is uh, supposed to look like inlay, but I'm pretty sure it's just a deco underneath some clear coat. If I'm wrong, please correct me. And it has these vintage style tuners that uh, are kind of cheap looking, but they seem to work okay. Uh, your sort of vintage style trapeze tailpiece. And in this case, we have an under saddle um, pickup. I'm not going to be using it today because we're going to be comparing the acoustic sound. It's a 17 inch bout. And yeah, so very much rather attractive looking instrument and it plays very well. And we're going to be comparing it with this. So this is my 1947 Gibson L7. The L7 is kind of like the poor man's L5. Um, again, 17 inch bout. Uh, solid spruce top, but of course it's carved. I suspect that the top on the Epiphone is pressed, but this is a carved top. Um, rosewood fingerboard. Again, the same sort of large C profile neck. Uh, Brazilian rosewood bridge. Uh, now this has a, a vintage dearmament pickup that's actually touching the body. Um, so it may be impacting on the acoustic sound a little bit. I typically play this electrified. Um, so that might be impacting. But anyhow, let's give a listen. I'm going to be recording both guitars. Uh, both guitars, by the way, have tomastic infilled uh, swing flat wound strings, 12 to 50s. So the same strings, although the ones on the Epiphone are about a week old. These ones are <laughs> over a year old, I think. Um, and uh, I'll be using a Fender uh, 354 medium pick, and I'll be recording with an Apex uh, condenser mic. So similar situations. Let's uh, see what the how they differ in terms of sound. Mm -hmm. 